When the uh, disaster happened in Haiti, um, several of us began the process of talking about, you know, how's the college going to respond? Uh, President Dorman talked with me, talked with some other folks. Then we got everybody together in the same room and started the process of brainstorming. How can we create a unified effort for Westminster College? What would it look like? How do we involve the campus community? How do we try to get folks um, kind of centered on a couple projects as opposed to everyone just doing their own thing? And um, so we got together four or five uh, faculty, staff members, the first meeting, uh, because the students weren't back yet. And then once the students arrived on campus, we brought in uh, Candace and she got involved. And so now we've connected students to it as well. Okay, and have you seen the town and college really pull together to donate to this great organization? Yeah, what, what we're trying to do is uh, figure out, we're still in the process of figuring out ways to get um, the community, as the Westminster community and the New Wilmington community to kind of connect together. Uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to a meeting with the local ministerium and we're going to be talking about um, how the community can work with Westminster on uh, response to Haiti, looking at, you know, down the road, might we house um, uh, Haitian families if there's a need for that. Um, you know, could we provide uh, for the type of care that's needed? So far, we haven't heard that they're looking for uh, clothing and, and uh, things like that. They're really looking for money still. And so we've been trying to create opportunities for people to give money. Now, we recognize that college students are somewhat limited on uh, how much they can give away. So there's programs where you throw your loose change into a container, and, and that certainly will add up a little bit over time. Uh, but the real money will probably come from outside the campus community. So now we're looking at um, ways we can bring in some of the outside money. We're trying to create a concert. Uh, March 24th, there's going to be a concert um, featuring a band called the Mitch Nas <coughs> Nasser Band. And um, <coughs> Mitch is uh, going to be providing the music and proceeds from the concert will go not just to Haiti, but also to the Royal Family Kids Camp, which is uh, a camp that's provided for children in the Newcastle area um, that um, come from abusive families. So we're dividing that concert money. But that'll bring in the outside community to help us with the project. And right, and um, that was what I was going to ask you. So you really right now are just taking money donations? Yeah, mostly it's just money. Um, and money's come from a variety of, of uh, different sources. We've had individuals that have stopped in uh, the chapel office to give us checks. Um, organizations have begun the process of giving checks. It could be a fraternity or sorority. Uh, money's come in from the basketball teams during their halftime. They did a collection um, at the Grove City uh, Swim Meet. Uh, the Westminster um, Student Athletic Council um, leaders collected an offering there, and all that's going to Haiti as well. Uh, right now we're up almost over a thousand dollars, so oh, wow. it's a, a good start to that process. I noticed that there's three organizations that you give the money to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the World Vision, Oxfam, America, and Partners in Health. Mm -hmm. And how did you hear about those ones in particular? Yeah. Uh, what we tried to do, we looked at uh, different criteria for um, whenever you do any type of fundraising for an organization. You want to take a look at the, the organization. Uh, for us, we set uh, some goals. They had to be on the ground already in Haiti doing work, and all three organizations have been there, have a long history there. Um, uh, World Vision is a food program and health program. Uh, Partners in Health is a is a actually a farming program where doctors work with farming communities, and so they've been in Haiti a long time. And then the Oxfam program again does housing and and farming issues and and uh, food. And so all three are already there. They've been on the ground. They've been working for a long time. Uh, so that was really important to us. Second one was that they wouldn't um, leave once the, the main crisis is over. And this is a long-term issue that's happening in Haiti. It's going to take generations uh, to rebuild that, uh, that country. And so we wanted to make sure that whatever organizations we chose, that they had a long-term commitment. They were going to stick around. And then the third one, which was really important to us, is a small percentage of the money that you give to any organization goes to cover administrative costs. Uh, in some organizations, that administrative cost is high. Uh, in these three, it's low. So we decided you know, we can commit to, to these three organizations because administratively, for instance, if you give a dollar, 90 cents of it is going to go to the organization, 10% um, or 10 cents might go to 
the workings of that organization. So you want it to always be small.